Listen up, you beautiful, beautiful people. Oh, what a time to be alive. Your grandparents have probably told you about how they had to walk to school, uphill, both ways, in the snow. You're going to be able to tell your grandkids about that horrible, horrible time where you didn't have to go to school for an entire nine weeks. I was awakened this morning by the sound of thunderclouds. No, not those thunderclouds, these thunderclouds. They were producing actual thunder. It was so beautiful, it made me want to go back to sleep. So I did. The weather looks pretty good once we get past this rain, though, I got to tell you. Look at Saturday and Sunday. Man, what a beautiful weekend. It's going to be kind of cold at night, though, so if you've started growing those tomatoes or eggplant or rhubarb in your garden, go ahead and cover those up. You don't want them, you know, destroyed by frost and stuff. Let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Here's a trivia question for you. It is uh, in the category of American literature. The late, great Maya Angelou got the title for her book, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings, from which American literary icon? Was it A, Nikki Giovanni, B, Langston Hughes, C, Zora Neale Thurston, or D, Paul Lawrence Dunbar? Where did Maya Angelou get the title of her book, the, I Know Where the Cage Bird Sings? Was it A, B, C, or D? All right, uh, guess who? We got a little guess who for you here. Our trivia question, uh, our guess who question today is, can you guess which member of the SHS faculty staff used to babysit for Dave Chappelle's nephews? Which member of the faculty staff used to babysit Dave Chappelle's nephews? All right. I want to uh, spend just a moment here with a very special thank you to Ryan England of State Farm. Ryan uh, provided our teacher lunch yesterday. Uh, he even helped cook. So, you know, listen, Ryan does a whole lot for our school and maybe sometimes doesn't get, you know, maybe as much recognition as he needs to get. Uh, but he's always in front of the trophy case giving out our uh, player of the or, or scholar athlete of the month award and he even knows jake from state farm so if you have any hot, uh, home auto life health renters or business insurance needs especially those of you who are driving these days and you know who you are you just get your first car you know the law says you got to have it insured why not give back to the guy who gives so much to South Haven High School? Give Ryan England a call at 662-349-1550. And now we have some special announcements from actual teachers at South Haven High. What are you doing this weekend? I know what I'm doing. I'm getting ready for Floor Wax 2020. Ah, yes. That once a year day where the floors at South Haven High School get a shiny new coat of wax. If you don't know about floor waxing, it's like the adrenaline of spring break at Panama City Beach, plus the electricity of a JLo and Shakira halftime show. Look at this before and after. Oh my goodness. You can, you can actually see your reflection in the one on the right. Isn't that amazing? So, teachers, if you do not have your classroom ready 
for Floor Wax 2020. Don't delay. Get it together today. All right. Uh, we invite all seniors to be active participants in our unique 2020 Charger Yearbook. Go to our SHS homepage, look on the left for latest news, and click the link 2020 Yearbook Submissions for instructions on how to actively participate. This part is for seniors only. However, however, anybody can order a yearbook. Go to SHS homepage and look on the left for the latest news and click Instructions for Yearbook Ordering. Uh, here's something from Marty Park. Seniors, check out the SHS Instagram page for seniors to submit photos of themselves announcing their college of choice, among other photo photos that we may insert into the 2020 yearbook. Look for South Haven Class of 2020. All right, uh, one athletic announcement this week, just the one. Um, all current athletes are uh, need to go on Dragonfly and uh, do their school eligibility documents. Please log on to your Dragonfly account and get these documents signed. We will schedule physicals to be done at the school as soon as we get clearance to do so. Now get out there and stay in shape. Athletes, there are a lot of online workouts. Man, if you go on YouTube, there are a ton of uh, celebrities uh, and athletes that are doing workouts right now. And uh, you can just get on there, you know, for free uh, and stay in shape. Get some, get, get some of those homework. Turn your living room into a gym. Coach Stevenson likes to say, if you got a floor, you got a gym. And so, you know, look, stay in shape. That's all we're saying. Stay in shape. We still have grab-and-go lunches. That will run through this week, I think. Maybe next week. I don't know. I'll have to check on that. Uh, but uh, South Haven Intermediate School will still be doing that, as far as I know, on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday of next week. Uh, we got free Wi-Fi at South Haven High School. Some of you are doing those final projects or maybe those final exams, and you're going to need that free Wi-Fi. Uh, and so, um, you know, you can get that in the, in the parking lot at South Haven High. Earlier, I asked you a trivia question from American Literature. It said, uh, the late great Maya Angelou got the title for her book, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, from which American literary icon was it A, Nikki Giovanni? Oh, I love Nikki Giovanni so much. She wrote me a handwritten letter. I still have it. Uh, B, Langston Hughes. Uh, C, Zora Neale Thurston, or D, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Uh, that is D, Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Now, you may know about Paul Lawrence Dunbar already, but if you do not, you need to know Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Uh, Paul Lawrence Dunbar uh, was an incredible poet who uh, wrote, we wrote We Wear the Mask uh, and many other great poems. Uh, he also wrote the first all African American Broadway show. Uh, he died at, tragically at the age of 33 of tuberculosis because tuberculosis just couldn't be treated back in those days. But it was his 1899 poem, Sympathy, that gives us the title of Maya Angelou's most famous book. He said, I know why the caged bird sings, ah me, when his wing is bruised and his bosom sore, when he beats his bars and would be free. It is not a carol of joy or glee, but a prayer that he sends from his heart's deep core, but a plea that upward to heaven he flings. I know why the caged bird sings. This is our penultimate trivia question. Uh, last week will be the last week, next week, sorry, will be the last week that I'll be doing an announce, uh, announcements. It's uh, going to center around the Battle of Thermopylae. So brush up on your world history, people. Brush up on your world history. Uh, it's time for our answer to guess who. I ask, can you guess which member of the SHS faculty staff used to babysit Dave Chappelle's nephews? Well, this happened when she was in college, and it was, in fact, our very distinguished theater director, Miss Cassie Cox, who is here seen in quarantine, wrapping up in Paul Bunyan's favorite shirt. A nice dog, too. He's basically, uh, basically doing what I've been doing every day of quarantine, just kind of 
I'm just kind of laying there. All right, it's time for our dad joke of the week, uh, brought to you by Jones Barbecue and Foot Massage. Here's our dad joke. There's a meteorite heading straight for Legoland. The damage is expected to be about 100 square blocks. Tell that joke to the ice cream man and he'll drive away before you get your Choco Taco. All right, we want to remind you one more time that you can go to the teacher and staff websites on uh, the South Haven High School site, and you can find your teacher and the assignments that you need for uh, closing up this year. Again, we're only going to have morning announcements one more time, and that'll be next week. Uh, but you can uh, always look uh, on the uh, websites that your teachers have there on our school website and get all of the information you need to pass on to the next grade. That does it for us this week. Everybody, be strong, stay safe, go Chargers, hallelujah, amen. <laughs>